Hi I am Impact Frames and welcome to another video. We will look at a method to do image edits with natural language by typing a description to edit our images using a new instruction to image model. We will start by loading the notebook on Collab and make sure is running with GPU on the runtime. Then we will connect our Google Drive to it. Let's add a code cell to download the model. Expanding the folder we can find the model in our Colab machine. We keep running the next cells to install the repo and the requirements. If you have a previous installation, you can add the model folder here to make all the models available. Otherwise you will need to download a model. We can look for the model folder path by navigating to your Google Drive. I will grab the model I have downloaded and move it inside the model path. On mobile you need to move files via script, so I will show you a script to move the checkpoint files to the correct model path. Since I moved the file manually the script didn't found any file to move. We won't need this cells anymore. To keep the notebook clean I will delete the extra cells I added to the notebook. You can find the scripts on the description of the video. By right clicking on the model folder, we can copy the path on the cell. Let's run the last cells and make sure we add a password for Gradio, to avoid any unwanted surprises. After the model finishes loading we can open the Gradio link and log in with our password. Now on the web UI we change the model to the instruction to pics we download so we can start working. OK. Now we can install IP2P script from the extensions. Click on available and the IPix to pick script should be in there. Click on the install button and wait a few seconds. The script should be in your Google Drive. Or your hard drive if you are doing this locally. Click on apply and restart UI. Mine didn't reload, so I force stop the UI and rerun the cell again. back on the UI, and we have the instruction picks to picks tab ready. You can drag an image here or click to load one from your computer. Now we can click here and add the description. Here is a tip, I realize now that is best to leave steps low 10 to 20 but in the video, I used high steps. The idea is that a low step would produce faster results to keep things conversational and when you are happy with a result you can reproduce it with more steps. You can change the text CFG value and the image CFG values. I went with default for the video but if you want the image to change more with the description, you can increase the text value and reduce the image value, or the opposite if you want the image to be preserved and your changes are too wild. Here is another tip it seems to work better to tweak the values on steps of 0.2 to 0.5. I added the description and click generate. The image has a bit of an illustration feel but it is too weak to be perceptible in the video. Yes this dog is too cute, already looked like an illustration. 
I change the prompt to add sunglasses, it works, but again the glasses are too small, they cover just the dog eyes. I am going to try with another image. I loaded a new image. Let's make it look like nighttime. Not too bad. I like it but it needs a face restoration pass. I could easily do that here but let's try more images. Let's close this and add another image. Yep, another doggo. Let's make him into a clip art illustration. As you can see, we could send this to image to image and continue our work, using another model. I added sunglasses but again they are small. Now I will apply clip art style. Now on watercolor. I will make him clip art again. Here this is a better result. Let's tray with another image. I loaded this picture of the horse galloping on the beach. Let's change the beach for a green field. Gucci, let's change the sea for mountains in the background. But first let's drag our result to be the source original, that way we can combine our result and be more like a conversation. The idea of this model is to be more like a natural language editing app. Like a chat GPT for images. Recently I have been doing my own apps. I definitely see the potential to use this in a Discord bot. Now let's get those mountains. It is very pixelated, but this is just a test. We could start with a more carefully selected picture or take the result into stable diffusion and improve the quality. Now take the result and use it as a source again. Let's make the horse white. I paste the white horse, which was brown seconds ago, to be the source image now. I want to make it a Pegasus. Sadly no Pegasus yet. Looks like the IP2P model doesn't know what a Pegasus is. We could try adding wings on the prompt. We can also try reducing the image CFG and upping the text CFG. Or we can take this image and add the wings within painting. Which is what I will do for the thumbnail of this video. I wrote winds instead of wings in the prompt, lol I was tired. Anyway I will show you another option to run IP2P without paying collab. And then we will add the wings to the Pegasus. Okay, if you don't mind waiting the queue, you can use the hugging face space for instruct picks 2 picks. It is free. Let's bring our horse and do the same we did earlier. I start with my description to turn the beach into a meadow. And click generate with the default options. Actually let's reduce the steps to 20 so it feels more conversational. Bang our meadow is looking good. 
Now let's change it into a white horse. Chakalaboom. The horse is white now. Let's try for a Pegasus now. It fails to get the idea of a Pegasus, but at least it tried to draw the wings. Maybe I should try symmetrical wings in the prompt next time. It is okay, I will use image to image to draw the Pegasus in stable diffusion. I will show you the process next. Great, we are almost done with the video, let's do the Pegasus. I think it's really easy to get fast results with this new method. Okay on the image to image tab click on upload. Here is our white horse with a bunch of wings and mangled legs we got from IP2P. I start by coloring the sky, very roughly removing the extra wings. It's better to sample colors from the image with the eyedropper. You can undo any mistakes with the turn back arrow wheel icon. You can also change the size of your brush with this slider. I redraw the wings, very roughly. And I try to make some hind legs and fill the in-between spaces with green tones. I am using, Euler Sampler at 26 steps, CFG scale at 12, and the most important, the denoising strength at 0.4. This will allow the base image to persist 60% into the generated result. Now let's generate the image. We have our first result. We can now send it to, image to image, so we can use it as a source. Increment the denoising a little to 0.58 and do a new generation. is looking great in no time at all. Send it to extras so we can upscale it for this video thumbnail. I will try Eskrim 4x v3, normally I use 4x plus or anime b6. Looks good, but I think I should have edit the slider on the second phase. Never mind it looks good enough for YT thumbnail. Well we finished the video. Thank you for watching, and please like and subscribe to help my channel. Have a fantastic day.